What's going on, peoples? <laughs> we're back. Yay! So. So we're here to explain baby step two a little bit, but uh, no need to adjust your cameras. This is a paid-for car. Uh, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, baby step two is the dead snowball, and so you just take. If you're not familiar with it, you take your debts and you lay them out from smallest to largest and you pay on the smaller one until it's paid off and you take the money you were paying on your smaller one and you add it to the next one and so on and so forth to the point to where you're just taking your money and you're snowballing it and you're paying off, you pay off stuff, you're putting more money to your next higher debt. So it gets to the point where it starts off kind of slow but when you get towards the end of it you're actually getting, you're getting a lot of steam and, and, and momentum going in and you start realizing how big um, and how much you're paying off at one time. Like we said on yesterday's video, I think, that we were paying off a thousand dollars this month. So, you know, it gets to the point where you start making really big um, chunks taken out of whatever you're still paying on. So. Okay. So, an example would be, well, someone had to hold the camera for him, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't trust him driving and vlogging at the same time. So, a little side note. Anyway, so an example to baby step number two would be the dead snowball is if you had, um, like when we started out, okay, so what was our debt when we started out? First thing, we had like $250 to JCPenney's and we had like $500 to Les Schwab and we had $5,600 on one visa and we had $4,700 on another visa we had $3,000 on Home Depot. So you take all your consumer debts. Um, this is consumer. This is the consumer end of it. You'll hit your loans later, like your car loans and your student loans, but right now you're focusing on those credit cards. Um, consumer. Consumer debt. So anyway, you lay them all out, make a list, write them all down on a piece of paper, and you would think the highest interest rate is what you're paying on first, but... But what? <laughs> you're not paying on your highest interest rate. You're paying on your lowest amount because the faster you get that lowest amount paid off, the more momentum and steam that's going to build and that excitement to get another one paid off. Gazelle, baby. Gazelle, yes. So you pay off that smaller amount and it will feed you to the next one and then to the next one. And, and what you're doing is like that JCPenney that's $250, a minimum payment might be like $50 a month on that. So once you pay that off, you roll that $50 into the next uh, debt that you're paying off. So then that $50 JCPenney would roll into the $500 Les Schwab. And so it would be $550 or whatever. Whatever your payments are, you're just adding them on until you, you reach the end. And we finally, with a student loan, have reached the end of our debt. And so we get to throw everything at this one student loan. But did I explain that pretty well? Pretty much as good as you could, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, basically people get a piece of paper out and write down your all of your debts smallest to largest and those are what you pay off first. Rice and beans, baby. Yeah. Beans and rice. Yeah. I found out if you put salsa in with the rice, it tastes much better. <laughs> oh, don't hit this car. Salsa is an actually good tip. It is very good. <laughs> and barbecue. Rice and barbecue. Uh, rice and barbecue, and if you if you have salsa in your rice, and you throw in some black beans and some sour cream, if that's in the budget, winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Ah, zing. So leave your comments below if you guys have any questions about baby step two. We'll also put the link to our first video, which is baby step one. And then next week, we'll give you baby step three, and we'll just kind of work through them, give you guys a week to digest and, and able to work to work it, and um, let us know of your progress. 